Hello everybody, I'm Minister here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign. Last episode, we continued working on building up our territory right here, which we're going to work on some more, because our treasury is uh, probably large enough to begin building something else down there. We tried to raid the Byzantines, um, but there were just too much going on there. They had an army in place. They kind of repelled me a couple of times. So it wasn't quite as successful as I would have liked. It is what it is. And then we ran a war against Kabar to take this county here, which was a du jour county for one of our dukes. And then we had a rather significant smallpox epidemic make its way through. And so we had to close the gates, quarantine ourselves, and it looks like it has run its course. No more epidemic. I've gone ahead and opened the gates before starting this up. So... We should be good to go there. So, let's go ahead and unpause it. Get her moving. Actually, um, we need to pick what we're going to build. Castle Town, definitely. And there's nothing else that I can build any here. No, we need a lot more money. Peasants of Nizhny Novgorod are far, quite far apart and spread out. Your spy master, Ambol, somebody suggests investing in provis provisional messenger system. All right, that's fine. Oh, this guy keeps wanting me to ransom this guy, and we're, no, he's not worth ten gold to me. Alright, so... I went to Moscow to deal with the rebellious rabble after reasons engagement that, um... Okay, so he took care of some rebels. I'm gonna look at my vassal. Opinion. Is there anything that I could get rid of? Coward? I got coward? Or no, is he coward? I'm going to ask for an audience with you. My lord, a vision of Tengri came to me and commanded that I build a temple in Vladimir. Do we already have a temple in Vladimir? No, we don't. Alright then. Um... A hundred piety, two hundred fifty prestige. I'm gonna spend the hundred piety appeal to the Tengri faithful on your behalf. See if we can't raise those funds for that temple. So we have a temple here. We have a temple here. We have a temple here. We don't have a temple in Vladimir yet. So that'd be pretty good to get. I'll have a good feast in my castle, and I spared no expenses when I arranged the feast. The table was filled with geese, pork, cheese, and plenty of wine. I doubt my guests left my halls with empty bellies. We had a good time. All right. Is there anything I can do? I could count out of the emperor. Try to build up some grace. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. The dream to visit the Emperor of Xia Empire and show my subservience will take months, if not even years. My friends to my near and dear, prepare the caravan for departure. Monthly wealth, minus point 0.2. I haven't tried this before. Minus point 0.5 health? Okay. All right, so we're under Regency. I wanted to give it a shot to see if it's worth the trouble. So what I'd like to do is like, request an Imperial marriage. I 
Maybe I should do that as one of my children? Hear someone sneak around inside and believe to be a burglar. He do some. All right, so he'll lose prestige. He's ten years old. As the days drag on, I find myself thinking back to Sizzledal, wondering what is happening in the palace, and how is Katunilke faring without me there. When can I return to her when my journey to the Middle Kingdom never seems to end? You make a stop for the evening. Your wife will receive a letter with your thoughts and well wishes for 7.7 .7 gold. I can do that. Minor states monthly wealth, well, monthly wealth plus 0.3. Need to improve the castle walls here. To get the castle town. Castle infrastructure level is greater. Alright, our caravan has been camped by the roadside the whole day. The sky has been pouring over us with unusually heavy rain. The whole situation has brought my thoughts to the memories of my late father Bars. You are such a good person. You burn incense to honor their memory and step outside to wash away your tears under the crying sky. It's honoring the dead. Monthly piety plus. It's carrying on health plus 0.5. And get that half a point of health back. My wife is now my regent. Okay. Build those castle walls. That's actually not a terrible thing. She's a pretty good steward. Okay, Marshal. Now. Consumer expresses wish to have a seal of councils. Contrib contribution to the realm is significant. Uh, nah. What I might do here is absorb Yugra to push our border out to here. Because I need this eventually. So that's a holy site. Right there. Uh, Kabar. I mean, the only wars I can really declare are border disputes. Which those are unjust wars and give me a opinion penalty. But I think I can. De can I not declare war on you? Oh, apparently. My council and my regent will not approve of that. Our caravan has been approached by a smooth-faced jerkin... jerkin man? Claiming to be a renowned trader. After finally getting my attention, he beckons me over to his own horse, where something is strapped to its saddle. Name's Wosai, my good lord. Might I... my latest acquisition interest you? Ceremonial robes is transferred to my treasury for 150 gold. Flattery gets you nowhere, peddler. I don't have 150 gold to spend on robes. I have castles to build. Alright, Byzantine Empire. There's an internal war going on, but the actual empire itself is not involved in any wars. Attempting to raid them is probably not going to be a good idea. Is 
The sword of my hand seems heavier and heavier every year. All right. So we lost some fighting skill. Oh, yeah, we're in our 50s now. Our company has finally reached the central lands of the Xia Empire. The Middle Kingdom and all its magnificence lay before us with so much to experience. Let's walk, let's forget about the reason for the journey. Alright. My son needs a focus. Diplomatic education. Guar. Uh, let's go with diplomacy. Actually, I'm a fairly good diplomat. I'm a gray eminence. I'm training him. I'm on a walk in a beautiful park in the Middle Kingdom. When I spot a group of people, intensely focused, gathered up around a square board with, with circular pieces in black and white. Oh, they're playing Go. Um, let me show, how, show you how it's done. Gained 50 gold. Oh, because I have the Game Master trait. Um, this might reflect well on you in the eyes of the Emperor. Let's go for it. Go is one of those games that is is deceptively simple and fiendishly complex. Um, my guards and I have been making our way through a bustling market this morning. There is an ample supply of every meat and game and trinkets and bubbles abound. Here and there we encounter soldiers along with dignitaries from other foreign courts. There's clearly no shortage of business for these traders. Hmm, what's that smell? You eagerly partake in the local cuisine. This might reflect well on you in the eyes of the Emperor. I'm here to trade. You there, let's talk business. Uh, we lose 200 gold. Guards, you keep that trader occupied. You receive a steal from one of the local traders, allowing you to become, to bring home a Chinese artifact. This might reflect poorly on you in the eyes of the Emperor. Um, I'll go I'll partake of the local cuisine. I am a uh, gluttonous man. That sounds like something I would do. Or this character would do, anyway. Alright. Will we have enough to improve the castle town? Not quite. Alright, yep. Yeah. And someone's critiquing me for my gluttonous ways. Alright, so one more tick should do it. There we are. I mean, would it be worth... The Emperor has kept his eyes on you, the Chief Minister says. You may enter the throne room to show your subordination, but be quick about it. Let's see. Hasty perform the Kowtow before the Silent Emperor. We get a hundred grace, lose a thousand prestige. And then we come home instantly. I don't know. It was still interesting. Not sure how often I'll actually do that since it doesn't really give a lot of grace. Range betrothal has been received. My daughter and the Prince of Novgorod. Sure. 
Bolend recently came to me saying that he'd recently learned that High Chief Yanal was not in fact his real father. Which he isn't. In fact, he believes I am. It's true, of course. But now he expects an answer, and I will continue to maintain the lie. Alright, now that we're back home, we can actually go do something. So let's go ahead and declare war on this guy. Um, Holy War for Yugra. This is the Jor territory part of Greater Perm. So we're going to go ahead and do that. This should be more than enough to deal with this guy. Um, I... Yeah, I'll get some commanders in there. Ooh. Oh, he has a lot more troops than I was expecting. Hopefully we'll be able to wipe this group out before it can move too much further. Yes. Oh, full stack wipe. Very, very nice. As you know, Del, I and those of your vassals who are part of my faction are your supporters. Oh, we got some golds. Alright, let's march in there. Another 2,000 troops? Oh, he's raising up, like, tribal armies is what he's doing. Spending prestige to do that. out large chunks of his troops. Oh, we took a big hit of attrition right before that happened. Okay, um... Tangri Uprising there. Well then... If that's the way it's going to be... Is there somewhere I can park a large army? Well, what we'll do is we'll break it up. Hold on. What am I clicking on? Here, here we go. Yeah, everyone's still kind of cranky from the last war, but, you know, we'll deal with it. Well, it looks like they're putting down that Tengri Uprising. The money lenders are here, reminding me of that loan I took. Oh, right. That's right. I took out a loan. Um, I do not have the full amount, but I'll pay back the interest. Okay, so yeah, we need to make sure we build up 250 gold to pay that loan back. Forgot. Defeat? Uh, yeah, no big deal. No longer find any joy in stuffing myself with fine wines, red meat, and rich sausage. Sauces. I finally lose the gluttonous trait. During this evening's council meeting, Spymaster Anbol told us of a rumor he had encountered. The peasants speak of an artifact hidden not far from here. Alright, yep, go ahead and look for it. 
Let's see if we can find it this time. Spymaster Anvil approached me after the council meeting to request more diplomats to aid him in obtaining more information concerning the rumored artifact. Um, sure. Six thousand troops should be sufficient. Actually, let's take eight thousand troops. I know it's the dead of winter, and we're in probably one of the worst areas. Hopefully I can get through there before I take too bad of an attrition hit. Young Gwar seems to have a lot of independent opinions and refuses to listen to the priests. Um, chance of him becoming patient. And he did. As he grew older, I can see that Gore could use some guidance. Some of my experienced areas. Become diligent. Yes! We're gonna win this battle. Take the castle back. Uh, okay, we're gonna we have a prisoner in our dungeons. We're gonna reduce his food rations. Because we can. Wow, we did take a big attrition hit. <sighs> Guess I'm thinking of all those prisoners in my dungeon. Yep, we're cruel. We'll oil up the rack. Alright, get over here. And he's raising even more troops. I propose that my daughter marry the Prince of Greater Perm. Um, I thought she was already betrothed to somebody else. Tenth of January. Let's see, sixteenth of March. 14th of March. Yep, we'll definitely get there in time. He's offering to pay ransom 25 gold. I'll take it. Oh, speaking of. I need to pay back that loan. There we go.
Alright, we won that battle. We're up to 84%. Oh, whoop. Uh, run that assault. My troops ransacked the town of, of Sabir tribe. They uncovered an interesting relic. The High Chief Shindaye, Shindye the second had hidden away there. We got a Shia sculpture. Wonderful news. There we are, 100%. Enforce demands. There we go. And now we want to hand all this territory to this guy. The entire Duchy of Ugra. There we go. And the Siberian Waste have flipped to my color. That's nice. Alright, let's send the troops home. After we kill these raiders. There we go. Let's make sure that all those troops are... St uh, have stood down, yes. Go ahead and worship the ancestors. Prosperity and growth for the realm. Um, yeah, we'll sacrifice the prisoner. A page brought me a beautifully wrapped gift today. A perfectly balanced blade with a gilded hilt. The accompanying note says it's a gift from an admiring Sibyl. Who are you? Fool, I am a married man. I am lustful, right? Or no, did I lose that? No, I am. Oh, I could have gone with it. You're going to hold a grand tournament. Um, no, actually. I would prefer to spend the money on other things. Uh, let's see, the castle walls, for instance. What about here? Castle walls, keeps, castle town. Let's go for that castle town. Good news. All the Odoglan or Odoglan has completed the work on the new Tangri Temple. All right, so Vladimir should now have a temple, and it does. Perfect. Young Rudy has finished education and stewardship. It seems he's learned all the basic skills required. And Guar has finished his education and diplomacy. Is evident that he's excelled in his studies. Good. Really needs a little work. Why did he end up getting studying stewardship when I was training him under a marshal? I should have trained him myself, I guess. Let's see, what are we gonna go with? Make a friend, convert a province, win a war? I guess we can stick it on that. All right, unmarried heir. My son needs a wife. Wow, he is terrible. He got dull? He shouldn't still be classified as a child. 
Oh my. I'm gonna need someone with some martial ability. Her? She'll do. Um, or did I wanna... Has greater than or equal to 1,000 grace. So I need 1,000 grace if I wanna request an imperial marriage. I can send a eunuch. I can send Rudy to China. Um, I'll send my nephew. I'll gain 930 grace? Most well, really can, on behalf of themselves or close relative, request to marry a relative of the emperor's. We'll grant you 500 prestige as well as give you a peace treaty with China. The spouse of Imperial Princess or Prince will be able to raise a regiment of honor guards when at war. For my heir. Alright. He's decided to grant the Hounds of Volkill the greatest honor, his daughter, the Princess Dorhan, who will become the pride of Prince War. We are honored. Recently, I have had good fortune to make quite a few bargains at first. It was only some nice pelts, a new sword. But today, I aided my steward in striking an excellent deal regarding provisions for our soldiers. Okay, so yeah, we've got some stewardship. My son, Prince Glar, has now married the Imperial Ducey Dorhan. The Grand Ceremony and the Foreign Somebody will be the talk of the realm for many years to come. I wish them happiness and many healthy children. Alright, so let's take a look. Uh... Could be better, but not terrible. Scholarly theologian. Sympathy for pagans, mystic. Vicarious. We'll have to see if we can't get her converted. If I'm determined to turn her from her heathen ways to a true tingri, you must consider my approach carefully. Engage her in a religious debate. After many long hours of theological debate, you are forced to admit that she has a point. You will not, of course, be swayed from your integrity of beliefs, but you and you... I actually got almost flipped. Wasn't seeing that one coming. Oh, well, she has better learning than me. Okay. Alright, well, we are at the end of the episode here. As soon as the auto state finishes, there we go. So we'll go ahead, we'll call it here. Did we even take this? I guess we did. Alright, we just need to get this next. Alright. So, as I was saying, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.